Hey guys, Dr. Sean here this morning. Good morning, getting ready to oh, do the work thing. I'm gonna get skip out to a dental visit this morning. My wife told me last night. Uh, so we're gonna go a little early today. Most of you guys watch this recorded anyway, so I think it works out pretty good that way. All right, we got some questions that came in this week uh, regarding little things about why we do what we do, how it works, what's the purpose. So Heather's here with me. She's gonna kind of fill us in on this and we'll go from there. What do we got? Okay, so the very first question is, how would you integrate the integrated urinalysis panel into your current practice? Okay, so for when you're dealing with people with weight loss, okay, and ChiroThin, if that's what you're focusing on, this group of people, how do you bring it in? You make it part of your program immediately. They don't know you from Adam, right? You're no different than anyone else. You just bring it in. Oh, Mrs. Smith, we have this you know, restricted calorie diet that we follow. It's a six week program. We have a laboratory test we run with it. I run a couple guys. I do a bioimpedance. I do all these things during this to get the most value and validity for what we're trying to accomplish. So when you're working with someone, make it part of your program. Now there's options when we do, we have different levels. You know, uh, there's, a, there's like a beginner level, there's an intermediate, and there's an advanced package for weight loss. And I break those up depending on how much work I have to do with that individual. So if I have to be heavily involved in their care, if they're here to lose 10 pounds, it's easy, all right? I, I, don't, I don't have to do that much. If they're here to lose 100 pounds, then there's a whole lot going on. And I want to know why that weight's on that frame. So what I end up doing with that group is I recommend, I'm saying, hey, look, there's our advanced package. It includes the UA. It includes, you know, the AGGR. It includes the B12. I put all those things together in my packages. So in my basic package, my basic starting ground level package, that's just simply, hey, you need to lose weight. It's a six-week program. Here you go. We do a maintenance and a stabilization in ours. It's a little bit different. But the idea is the six weeks is the six weeks. Okay, the, the urine comes in and when you're doing your tests, your labs, that comes in when you A, want more information about that patient or B, it just becomes part of what you do. Right, we gave you the CPT codes for it, so you can get reimbursed on that end if you want to do that. So the key to it is uh, bring them on camera. Let's see, Teresa Davidson is watching. Sorry, bring them on camera. Not sure what that means. Um, hopefully you can see me. Uh, if you can't, let me know. But I, I, ideally, then, we're, we're, we're looking at this and we're saying to ourselves, how do you integrate this thing? It's really very simple. How would you ask for a CBC? How would you ask, you know, hey, I need a CBC with a diff. I want a thyroid panel. I want, you know, a, a B12. Or I'm looking for vitamin D. How would you do that in your practice? You just ask. So it's really simple. Don't make this too hard. Okay, and this is really the key to this, guys. Don't make this too hard. It's supposed to be really, really, really simple for you. And if you make it simple, it'll go like, like clockwork. Okay, what's the next one? Please explain the integrated urinalysis panel as if I am a new patient. What would you tell me the reason for the IUP is? Okay, so why are we doing it, right? And you know my rule, right? To see is to know, to not see is to guess, right? Got that from Dr. Eric and Pudi. You know, and so that, that's, the, that's the rule. So we run a panel because I need to know more about you. Why does your doctor run blood work? Why do you take x-rays of a patient? Why would you ever do further investigation of anything? I had a lady in my practice the other day that had a foot problem. It's been bothering her for three months. I thought, you know what? Let's shoot an x-ray and see if there's a stress fracture. What do you think I found? A stress fracture, right? Why do you shoot those things? You need to know more. So we're using this panel as a way of looking at the body and saying, okay, Every one of us is in a balance. Every one of us is in homeostasis. Okay, it's a balance. And what that means to us is the body is finding this, this kind of midway point where it wants to stay there. Now, there's a lot of things that challenge it from deviating from that. You know, chiropractic has always talked about subluxations and innate and all these things and how that gets challenged. Nutrition challenges the body. What we eat, what we drink, the air we breathe, those are all challenges to the body. So we have to make sure we're bringing in the good things. And we have to know that when we do bring them in, can the body use these things? Or is it struggling? So when you have nutrition and you have nutrition products, the concept behind them is to say, all right, well, let's, let's balance this. Mrs. Smith, you got trouble with digestion? Let's at least support it. Now, will we cure it? I don't know. There's all these variables that are involved, right? And that's where you, the physician, have to be in, engaged in their care. But you're running this panel because you're looking for fires. I had a great talk last night with Ali. Uh, you guys know him all out in California, right? And he was talking about a patient that was doing, that did the chirothin and had a little hiccup. And the hiccup was constipation. I said, well, did you run a urine? Well, yeah, I did. And so we went through it together last night on my way home. And, I mean, it was plain as day why it got in trouble. But if you don't run that, you don't know. 
You know, this person had gallbladder issues. They had bilirubin issues. They had all these things. Their, their sediment was a 10 or 1.0. It was super high. It screamed gallbladder problems. And sure enough, they had bowel issues. So there's just so many things you can do. But the key to all of this is that it's variable. It changes. So you just go through the, your mindset this way. There are physical things, structural things that, in, that in, impede homeostasis. There are organic things, things we put in the body, things we put on the body, right? Viruses, bacteria that impede homeostasis. And there are functional things, emotions and neurologic disorders and hormones. All those things are involved. The urine lets you know how is your body choosing to push back. That's what it's really doing. I call it a body audit for that reason. It's letting me know where are you spending your resources to deal with life. That's what it's doing. That's how you explain it to someone. It's a great test to let us know, Mrs. Smith, where, where's the hole in your bucket? Where are you spinning those things? How do we get this to repair? Then we know what to do. Does that make sense? What's our next one? Is it okay to run an integrated urinalysis panel on a patient not participating in ChiroThin? Yeah, you know, in my practice, guys, I run it on everybody, right? You don't come through my practice unless you have that done. You walk in with an ankle sprain, I'm running that. Now, why? Right? What was the, what's it tell you, right? To see is to know, to not see is to guess, right? So I run it on every patient that comes in. And here's the reason why. If someone has an ankle sprain, maybe they heard it playing basketball or the young lady that heard it playing volleyball or something like that. All right, maybe it's their first time. Maybe it's their fifth one. And I'm starting to think, gosh, why is that not healing? Why do they keep getting sprains? Why does that knee problem not go away? I'm adjusting. I'm doing rehab. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. Maybe their body can't use the parts that they're giving it. So even though I'm doing all the proper work, they're doing all the rehabilitation, they're doing everything they're supposed to do, it's not healing. The urine tells you why. Oh, Mrs. Smith, you don't digest protein very well and you have trouble with vitamin C. And that's super important for muscles and connective tissue. If you can't break those things down, you can't heal. That's what you're doing with this, right? So you're looking at this grand scheme of everything and saying, gosh, I'm not just guessing at this. I'm knowing what we're doing. So I run it on every single patient that comes through my door. It's part of my new patient workup. But again, I'm different than you guys. You know, I'm a cash practice. That's what I do. So the idea for me, I do packages. And I do multiple visit packages because I know that I'm trying to restore normal function. And the urine is my gold standard. I mean, at my report of findings, I sit there and that's what we go through. So I go through it with them and that's how I determine how much and how often I'm going to see them. I use that specifically. So I hope that answers your guys' questions for you. I'm going to head off to the dentist and get the teeth all done. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye-bye.